Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to talk a little bit more today about uh, uh, gun choices for women. Um, I did a prior video on this that had a little bit more detail. Uh, today I'm going to specifically focus on, on women that come to me uh, that tell me, hey, um, you know, something's happened in my life and, and I need a gun for personal protection. Um, and also, you know, I live in an area where, you know, where my lifestyle is such that I'm probably not going to get to the range too often, okay? Um, at least she, she's not going to get to the range as often as I would like her to get to the range, okay? So, so that said, I'm going to probably recommend a, a revolver for her. Uh, the reason is because with the revolver, okay, um, if, if there is a, a misfire, okay, uh, with the revolver, you just squeeze the trigger again and it'll just rotate to the next chamber and the gun will continue to work. With a semi-automatic, okay, if you get a misfire, uh, you now have to eject that 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 uh, that that round before the gun continue to work. Okay? Now, yes, for people that practice regularly, that's easy stuff. Uh, but for somebody who is not going to be practicing regularly, um, you know, that's that that can be extremely complicated uh, when you're in a life-threatening situation where you are under extreme stress. Okay. Um, so so one of my the things that I do as an instructor, okay, is I work around people's lifestyles okay um you know i make recommendations i reckon yeah by all means i'll say hey listen if you can get to the range a little bit more frequent that'd be great uh, but that said i have to work with the reality of what they are likely to do not what i want them to do okay uh, so that said for a lot of people i'm going to recommend a revolver um the uh the choice becomes you know usually 22 or 38 okay so some women can simply not handle a 38 okay um, they can't shoot it well, um, you know, it's not that they're physically not able to shoot it well, um, it's just that they're, you know, they, you know the, the drive is not there for whatever reason, okay? Um, so I have to deal with that reality. Uh, what I have found is that if they get really good with shooting at 22s, at some point later on down the road, they might be able to shoot, uh, you know, 38s and even, I might even be able to get them into 9 millimeters. Uh, but for, for some women, I have to accept that right now, a 22 is, is, is the best place for them to start with, uh, and that is the gun that they would most, uh, that they would be able to use best uh, if they needed to defend themselves with, okay? Because you know, it doesn't matter, you know, it, you know the only shots that, that, that count are the ones that hit, okay? So if you've got a 44 Magnum and you're missing, you know, you're better off with a 22 and where you're actually hitting, okay? Um, so, so now this particular one, this is a twenty. This is a Taurus. It's a nine shot, okay. Um, and this one is a um, a Taurus. There's also a Taurus. There's a thirty-eight special, okay. Now I bought these two guns uh, back where guns were were expensive, okay. Uh, nowadays I would probably recommend, hey, listen, skip Taurus, go with a Smith and Wesson or Ruger um, or Sig or Beretta. You know, basically go for name brands, okay. If you're buying guns, you know, skip the off brands. Um, you know, so I don't, you know, I, I, I have had other Tauruses that have given me enough problems that, you know, usually I sell them off as soon as I get a problem with them, okay. Uh, these guns have not given me problems, they've been working great, and I'm very happy with them. Um, but, but usually I will recommend to most people that come to me these days, yeah, listen, skip the Tauruses, go straight with the name brands, okay. Um, so, um, let's talk about this 22. This one is a 9 shot. Okay. Uh, and if you're going to get a 22, yeah, getting a, a 22 with 9 shots is, 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 is a great idea. You know, it works well. Um, and, and you will practice more. Now, even uh, if I get a woman that I see shoots 38s very well, I will also recommend that she gets a 22 version of that gun. Uh, and she will basically, you know, she will practice a lot more with the 22s. You know, um, basically she'll do like 90% of her shooting with the 22s. And then basically, uh, you know, at the end, you know, she'll do about 10% of her shooting with the with the 38. Okay, and I do the same thing with myself. You know, I I, I practice a lot with 22s, uh, and then I move up to whatever caliber I want to use. And basically, I try to use the larger caliber as well as I shoot the 22. Okay? So we're we'll gonna start with this little 22. Just on that target there. Fun shooting. Okay. Right, then we got the 38. Nice light little gun. It's a five shot. 
And basically the idea here is that we're gonna basically shoot this gun like it's a 22. Okay? As, as we're pulling that trigger, we're gonna be we're gonna be thinking the same exact thing. I love shooting the 38. Okay. Now, um, I'm just going to basically um, um, go back and uh, refresh what I said in an early video. Uh, this applies to women, but it also applies to other people as well. But especially for women, the, when you're buying a gun, your three main concerns is, are you able to load it? Okay. No, so basically, you don't get a gun that's extremely difficult to, learn, to load, like a double stack magazine. Okay. Are you able to chamber it? If it's a semi-automatic, are you able to chamber it? Okay. Are you able to squeeze the trigger? Okay. Um, obviously, with the th with, with the revolvers, okay, um, there's no magazine. Okay. The uh, the rounds just load straight into the chamber, and we can see how easy that is. They basically just drop in there. So basically, that takes care of two potential difficulties. Okay. So the so so the, the final, the only thing we need to concern ourselves with the revolver is. Can we comfortably squeeze that trigger? Okay. Um, so, so, so that's that's one of our that's the only thing we need to concern ourselves with. Okay. Um, you know, now that I'm looking at it, another issue that sometimes comes up is do we want an exposed hammer or don't we want an exposed hammer? I mean, I like the exposed hammers because sometimes I do like shooting these in single action mode. Um, you know, um, you know, a, there is a case to be made that 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 hammer uh, can snag on things. Um, so you, there are guns, you know, that you can buy versions of these guns that, that are hammerless um, or you can basically just go to any gunsmith or anybody that knows how, that has a Dremel and basically that, that, that hammer can easily be cut off, okay? Um, um, or at least, you know, reduced a little bit so it doesn't stick out so much. But me personally, I like having hammers, okay? But that, that is also something that I will discuss with anybody uh, from whom, um, you know, it turns out that the, that the, that the, that the revolver is going to be the... Uh, the best choice for them, you know, that's one of the things that I'll, I'll sometimes bring up and we'll try to figure out what will work best for them. You know, a lot of times that will depend on, you know, where they're going to carry, how much clothes they typically wear. You know, we'll actually go through the draw strokes, okay? You know, that's that's one of the things that you want to actually, you know, work through. And that's at the later, you know, you know, once we learn to shoot the gun, just doing standard target practice, then we want to basically start working from a holster. Um, and in the type of clothes that you are likely to be wearing. You know, summertime, if this is how you dress, this is what you're gonna have to work around. Uh, if you, you know, in the wintertime, if you're wearing a heavy coat, that's what you're gonna have to work with, you know. Uh, so whatever you are likely to be wearing is what we need to work through and, and then we'll see what, you know, if, if we have to cut off the hammer or not, okay? Anyway, thanks for uh, watching. I'll see you guys next time.